Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today I decided to take a look at a really interesting iPad game that some of you actually recommended several times. It's a game called Terra Genesis, and as you can probably imagine, it's about terraforming things on different planets. Now, this is a, actually a free app, and you can definitely get it um, from an I, uh, app store, but the thing about it is that it does have a few things like... What is this? What is the game center? I don't want to have a nickname. Give, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to continue my game. I have a game going on right now, and it's a game on Venus. I wanted to try terraforming Venus, but I wasn't really doing a good job at it. Let's try to see if we can do better. But anyways, I'm going to load the game, and... And so just to show you what this game is all about, it's essentially a kind of a city management game where you have a colony, which is right here. In this case, it's a colony called Enchina, with population of 941 people. Yes, I have people uh, coming to my colony. And you're trying to essentially make this um, into some kind of a livable planet and terraform it by building new things, by founding new outposts. And look at that, falling stars! There's events in this game. I can do uh, let it crash or error breaking maneuver. Let's go with error breaking maneuver. It's gonna work, right? Meteor divert. Yay! This gives us bonus. Now, this as a management game, this means that you don't always play it. Sometimes you actually have to uh, quit the game and wait for a few hours before something finishes. Like for example, I know right now I'm not getting any more money from my colonies, from my mines, because my mines actually ran out of stuff. I kind of left the game for a little bit too long, and now they're basically all done. So I'm going to erase some of them, actually all of them. And we're going to build a few new mines, see if we can actually collect some more money here by going into a... Oh, I actually, I think I destroyed it completely. Here we go. Uh, let's start a new mine right here. And it's going to be called Sapo. Sapo. Yay, awesome. Uh, moving on with this, go, going to build, and we're going to... Just go into Sappho here and examine the colony, build a new mine, and it lets me build a new mine. And I actually can build several different mines. I can build a carbon mine, I can build an iron mine and silver mine, because I actually did some research earlier that allowed me to mine silver. Let's go and find something really cool here. And unfortunately, it seems like there's almost no silver in this particular location. Let's look for iron. Maybe there's some iron here. And look at that. This green thing right here shows you that there's a little bit of iron here. Let's just go with that. I'm going to zoom in here, make it more precise, and build a new mine that will collect iron for us. It's going to collect uh, 196 credits uh, per... I guess that's minute? Yeah, it's per minute. And that's how you build mines. That's how you make money in this game. And you need money for only one thing. Uh, and that thing is, of course, going into things like research and essentially building up new um, new plants, new... Oh, what is that? Another falling star. Yes, error breaking maneuver. It worked last time. Yay, more bonuses. Uh, building things like oxygen, for example. Oxygen filter. Because, you know, you want to have oxygen to breathe on the planet. Or water cistern. Uh, so right now I'm going to be researching this for 52 minutes real time and it's going to take me quite a while to essentially finish it but you know I'm gonna go get a coffee or something and by the time I come back it's going to be done. Um, I can also now go into my actual colony and build some of the things I've already researched. And as you can see there's a lot of events in this game and it just keeps it a little bit more entertaining. This says local color, a new fashion and style. What should we do? Let's promote it. Maybe it'll give us more money. Um, we can go into our main colony, and I believe I actually have a few... Yeah, I have three spaces available to build new things. Now, I want to have less pressure. I'm going to build a sequestration plant that will reduce pressure and make this uh, planet a little bit more um, habitable. It's going to take a while to build, so I can't really build it right away, but I already have one sequestration plant and one cooling plant, meaning that there is something already cooling down Venus and, of course, making it less pressurized. And this is where the science slash educational component comes in. You actually have to understand what's wrong with the planet to terraform it. So Venus is ridiculously hot. It is currently 736 Kelvin, which is close to about 500 degrees Celsius. You want to make it this much. You want to make it 287. So it will take quite a long while for me to get it that far, because right now it's only minus 4 degrees per minute. And we're talking about millikelvin degrees. So it's going to take forever. I need to build more, more of these plants to make it faster. Pressure, same thing. It has to be much, much lower. Currently, faces in a storm. During an intense dust storm, over a dozen travelers, something, something happened. Oh, I didn't get the chance to read it. I think it was an important event. Anyway, so this is what we have currently. It's 9 million Pascal. We want to have only 100,000 Pascal, which is one atmospheric pressure similar to Earth. 
Same for oxygen, same for water, and same for um, plant life or biomass, which you'll get later on. Eventually, um, you will obviously start gaining population as well. You'll start getting colonies, more colonies, and of course, more money. You need to have a lot of money to be able to support all of this. Now, all in all, this game is relatively simple, but it does teach you a lot of stuff, and it, it is kind of fun. It's a management game that allows you to basically go through these various simulations, various planets, to try to use your skills and your knowledge of terraforming to create a perfect world. Uh, there's also things like culture, which actually is pretty cool. It basically means that with time, you will actually pay dirt. Miners at Sappho Alpha have hit pay dirt. No, what does that mean? That means nothing. Um, so yeah, you can actually create a culture and then essentially make your colony independent. You, it, you can basically become its own world, but that comes with time and that obviously requires quite a lot of different um, culture points, which are which are available right here. Right now we only have four. I need to have several thousands for, for basically for that to happen. And lastly, there's things like satellites. Unfortunately, I don't have any because I, I didn't build the orbital station yet. Uh, there's new features that will be added in the, in the future because uh, this game is still kind of actually in beta. But the cool thing is that, let me just go back to the original menu here. The cool thing about this game, and I'm gonna show you the new game here, is that you have several planets that are available for free. So there's Mars, terraforming Mars is relatively easy. It's available for free. There's Venus, that's also free. Uh, Earth, this is supposedly hard because you actually have to stop the climate change. Surprisingly difficult. If you try it, you'll find out why. And then we have some that you have to pay like 99 cents for. So Moon it costs 99 cents, something called Bacchus, and also another planet called Ragnarok, and then there's a few more. All of these are essentially optional, but there's one called Leth, uh, Leth which I believe is... Uh, similar planets to the one from Kerbal Space Program, so I think there's a bit of a Easter egg in here. And there's obviously going to be more coming in the future, but that's how this game makes money. If you like the first three planets, you might as well purchase the other ones. You don't have to, but it's fun. And anyway, so that, all in all, this game is actually absolutely amazing. It's only, unfortunately, available for, I believe, iPads and possibly iPhones, but don't take my word for it. As you can see, I'm only using iPad for this. Uh, but I actually am really, really impressed with what they've achieved um, here with this game called Terra Genesis. It is very, very simple, but it is super, super fun. It's a huge time sink, so make sure that you have a lot of time to sink into it. The cool thing is that, of course, you don't have to really sit there. Once you open your planet, it takes a few minutes to go through all of your buildings, all of your research, and then you can just um, quit the game and basically go on with your real life. But for now, I'm definitely going to continue playing this because, well, first of all, it's fun. There's a lot of these events that keep the game more interesting every time. And there's a lot of other things like actual science that you have to think about when you're terraforming every planet. And anyway, so that's it. That's all I wanted to say about this particular game. A game called Terra Genesis, a game that you can find in the link below, a game that is only on, on App Store, unfortunately. So Android people, I'm really sorry, even though I'm, I'm an Android person myself, but we can't really play it just yet. Although I've heard that they're actually making one for the Android as well. Unfortunately, nothing for PC yet, but maybe coming in the future. Anywho, thank you so much for watching, and whoever suggested this, please leave a comment so I can maybe mention your name in the next video, because I totally forgot who said uh, or who mentioned this game, but it's totally, totally awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video, game you later, and as always, bye-bye.